Hey guys, it's Mike from Mad Raven Woolworks. Today, I'm wanting to get that Mad Raven logo onto this mallet head that I'm making. Now, I could, uh, you know, print that out, put transfer paper under it, trace it all out by hand um, with a pencil. That's gonna take a long time and we ain't got enough time. So basically, you get an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of sticker paper, peel off all the stickers, and uh, eventually you're gonna be left with this waxy surface. The adhesive didn't stick to this, and the ink's not gonna to wanna to penetrate it either. So you can use a normal inkjet printer. If you don't, you know, I, can, I use the sticker sheet paper I got from work uh, that they were throwing away. Uh, you could use like address label sheets or just normal, like any sticker sheet, as long as it's eight and a half by 11, which fits in the printer. Um, I guess it could be smaller than that, but uh, if you wanna do portraits, uh, like I've done this for Christmas ornaments, put people's pictures on Christmas ornaments and stuff. You can do it and you can turn it out in color and it'll look good. But you have to make sure that you sand it really, really smooth. The smoother it is, the better it's gonna turn out. Okay, so I have my uh, Raven logo opened up in paint. What I'm gonna wanna do is flip it horizontally, flip the X axis, uh, select all. I already have it cropped out to the size I want. I don't wanna get extra around the image. It's gonna make complicate things later. So I got that copied, sent it over to uh, Word. I made this um, I made this size uh, pretty close to the size of my mallet so I'd have a good idea what I was working with. Uh, we're going to paste that into there. Okay, that looks good. Make sure it's centered. That's important too. Um, something else you, uh, you, you're, gonna, you're probably noticing is that I have a page border here. I use this for reference because I'm gonna actually cut this out uh, and that's gonna help me center it up on the mallet head a lot easier. So I'm gonna print this out and uh, then I'm gonna show you what happens next. All right, I uh, printed out a couple of them just in case I screw up. If you do screw up, um, you know, it's not the end of the world. You can take your sander, sand it all off. Takes a little while, but that's all right. So I'm gonna cut this out, cutting just inside the border. The border is ink, so you don't want to get that border on your workpiece. All right, this is extremely important. If you smudge, smear this at all, you are, uh, you, you, you're done. So put it down, place it with uh, some conviction, uh, put, your, put one of your fingers in the middle and uh, pray for the best. Okay, that's where I want it there. I'm gonna put my uh, thumb down, press really hard, and then with the other hand, I'm just gonna smear that ink. Well, you know what, it'd probably be better just to do uh, do two fingers so um, it doesn't wanna pivot side to side on you. So with my other hand, I'm rubbing that ink into the grain while pressing down extremely hard with this hand. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands here. And I'm gonna rub it in this way. Yep, looks good. So that looks a little dull right there, but if you take some like spray polyacrylic or polyurethane probably work fine too. Uh, whatever you do, just don't brush a finish on this. But whenever you spray it, um, that's gonna pretty much like make all the colors pop. Uh, if you're doing a color image, it's gonna look really, really dull right now. And uh, whenever you spray the poly on, the color's just gonna pop, like it's like magic. So that's how I transfer uh, logos and pictures and stuff to wood using just a cheap uh, inkjet printer. Um, it's really not bad, not bad at all. Uh, once you get the process down, you start getting better at it. Uh, if you're doing color, you start to learn how to mess with exposure and contrast and stuff to make the image pop a little better on wood. Uh, but yeah, just play with it, play around with it. Uh, it'll save you some time. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you if you learned something, please subscribe. I would sure appreciate it. And I thank you guys for, for the view. I'm gonna go finish this mallet. See you guys.